Welcome to the Microsoft Teams Quick Start Guide presented by Voxtelesis. In this video, we'll go over how to set up auto attendance in the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. Configuring IVRs or auto attendance as they're called in Teams will let people who call your organization navigate a menu system so they can be connected with the right department, person or operator. In order to create an auto attendant, you'll first need to create a resource account. If you haven't already set up a resource account, check out our video or written guide on the topic. From the Microsoft Teams Admin Center, click on the Voice tab on the left-hand side of the screen. Then click on Auto Attendance from the drop-down. Before you can use your resource account with an auto attendant, you must first create an auto attendant and associate it with your resource account. From the Auto Attendance web page, click on Add to create a new auto attendant. You'll first need to type in a name for your auto attendant here. We're going to skip adding an operator in this demonstration as this is an optional feature. Select your time zone from the drop down. Setting the proper time zone will allow calls to be answered during the correct hours if you're going to create a separate call flow for after hours. The language setting will tell the system which language to use when reading prompts, greetings, and dial keys. Turn on Enable Voice Inputs as this enables speech recognition when a keyword is spoken. Click on Next. Continue to click on Next until you get to the Resource Accounts page. Under the Resource Accounts page, click on Add. In the search bar, type in your resource account. Select your desired resource account that you want to associate with this auto attendant. Click on Add when you're finished, then click on Submit. You can now click on Add again to create another auto attendant. Fill in the general information of this auto attendant and click on Next. Under the First Play a Greeting message setting, leave the No Greeting radio button on as default if you wish to include menu options after your greeting message plays. The setting called Then Route the Call is where you can set up your dial keys by selecting Play Menu Options. You can then choose to upload a file or add a greeting message. For our example, we're going to select Add a Greeting Message. Fill in the text box with the message you want the system to read. Next, click on Assign a Dial Key under the Set Menu Options. Assign the number key you wish to use. Type in your desired voice command. Choose where your callers are redirected to. If you choose Voice App, this will redirect you to another auto attendant or to a call queue. Then you'll need to choose the resource account associated with it as the destination. Select Next when you're finished. On this page, you can determine business hours and after hours. The default setting for business hours is 24 7, Monday through Sunday. Fill out your business hours, as all other hours will be considered after hours. If you wish to set up multiple times in one day, then you would click on Add New Time. If you wish to set a whole day to be in your business's after hours, select the blank options under the starting and ending times. Configure the message to be played during business after hours, then select how to route the call. Once you're finished, select Next. You can now optionally have your calls route differently on holidays if your call flow happens to be different on certain days. Click on Next if you don't wish to set up holiday call settings. If you do want to add holiday settings, click on Add. Enter a name for your call setting here. Select the holiday from the drop-down. Select the holiday greeting, if any, here. Under Actions, click on either Disconnect or Redirect Call. Click on Save. When you're finished, click on Next. The Dial Scope defines which users are available in the directory when a caller uses Dial by Name or Dial by Extension. The default setting is to include all online users that have a phone system license in your organization and exclude none by default. Click on Custom User Group under Include and Exclude to choose one or more Microsoft 365 groups, distribution lists, or security groups. Please note that it might take up to 36 hours for a new user to have their name listed in the directory. Click on Next when you're finished. All auto attendants must have an associated resource account. Click on Add, 
then search for one by display or username. Click on Submit when you're finished. Congratulations! You've now successfully set up an auto attendant in Microsoft Teams. Check back for more videos as we are continually adding new content.